work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Alrighty artists, in this video we're going to be making clay volcanoes. They will blow your mind. <laughs> so um, we always start with a pinch pot because these are essentially what they are. They are a pot that you'll be able to use as like a pencil holder or something. Just your art supplies kind of coming out of it just like lava does. For this lava pot, we always start with a basic pinch pot. That's our base. And then we're going to transform this into the shape of a volcano. So here we go. I have my pinch pot walls and obviously the volcano comes upward like a mountain, right? What we're going to do is I'm going to pinch off and I'm going to bring mine together. I just left a little bit. See how much I have over here? Pinching it off and then I'm going to just mush my clay walls together. It might split a little. That's okay. Just keep mushing it. There we go. Kind of reseal. All right. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to pinch. Here's a different view of it. And notice my opening is getting smaller and I'm getting a nice slant. I'm going to pinch that off. You can just put that extra clay to the side. We'll be using that to create more lava. Awesome. And I think that is a pretty good, you can kind of shape it to your hand, with your hands how you want that mountain or um, that volcano to be shaped. As long as you have it kind of like mine where it slants up, that's fine. Volcanoes are all different shapes, boys and girls. Some are more pointed like a mountain, some are wider because they're just so big, okay? And I'm leaving my edges rather rough because it's dirt and it's gonna represent the ground being cracked open by the lava. Speaking of lava, let's add that, okay? So here's what mine looks like on the side. I'm just gonna rotate around so you can see it. We have this extra clay and this is what we're gonna use to create lava. Take a little pinch off about the size of your pointer finger, a little more maybe, and roll it into a ball. I'm gonna show you how to create a three-dimensional drip shape that'll make it look like the lava is flowing down the side of a mountain. A drip is what we call the form of a liquid that is being pulled down by gravity. Good amount of liquid, okay? And lava is essentially liquid. So here we go. I have a little ball. What you're going to do is um, take your pinch, pinch one side of it, and turn it and pinch it again. So it makes the shape of a teardrop, just like that. You can keep pinching and rotating. And notice I'm keeping my fingers very flat so I get a really nice pointed edge. Now we're going to attach it to our volcano. Now because our clay is really, really wet, you do not have to score and slip. If you have a really, really bigger drip than mine, then I would probably score and slip. But another attachment you can do is you can smoosh it in and then use your thumbs. We're going to slightly blend it in to our pinch pot. And I'm doing that by just pulling the top of the drip down into the pinch pot. And this top part I let hang over the top of my drip so it looks like the lava is coming out just like that. You don't want to blend in your seam completely because then you'll lose like what is the lava, what is the mountain. Let's make some more. Take a little pinch, roll into a ball, pinch one side and rotate to form a drip. And now when we place that on our mountain, you can have this one a little higher and the tip of the drip I like to put into the mountain kind of over that edge. There we go. And just pull that clay down and smooth it in so it's kind of nice almost sealed okay now we don't want our clay any more thicker than our pinky really um so kind of press it down our whole mountain should not be thicker than that and here you can see it's really starting to look like lava i'm going to make more lava come down here and this is actually my crack where my seam is we can use that like a crack of the mountain all right so for this one you can do more stringy llama or lava excuse me <laughs> and then we're gonna do more of a longer drip, kind of coming through the crack. And I'm gonna be pulling on that clay. It might, you know, break, that's okay. But I'm gonna just kind of start to squeeze and press in some lava. And here's a bigger drip. So boys and girls, my point is you can add lava wherever you feel it's appropriate. I'm actually gonna rip my, my 
um, volcano a little bit there because I kind of like that look. And here it's going to come down this side here. There we go. And I'm going to just reshape the top of my volcano because they're not perfectly round, right? They have some edges that are longer, taller. There we go. And here you can see my volcanoes coming down the side. Now you always want to reach in there and make sure your walls are not too thick. And when you do this, we're pinching like we do our pinch pot. And it's going to make your mountain a little taller. Also keep in mind you don't want your bottom too thick. Okay. There we go. At any time you want your um, volcano a little skinnier on the top, all you have to do is pinch a little off. Okay. There you go. And kind of reseal. There we go. Just reshape. It takes a lot of shaping with the hands, that's for sure. And also what I can do is I can take my finger down towards the bottom and push it outward. That gives it more of a flatter hill at the base. All right here, my, my clay kind of cracked. I'm gonna just reseal that because volcanoes aren't completely cracked like that. There we go. So here, I'm just gonna kind of take my finger around where some of the lava is so you can see it a little bit more. You can also use a clay tool. Now it may look a little silly right now, but once we add color, boys and girls, it's gonna change the whole dynamic of your piece. Okay. Awesome. I have a lot of lava on this side, so I'm just going to add some more coming off this area, and then I'm going to call it perfect. Making that drip. I'm going to attach it right off the top there. There, I'm not even going to blend it in. I'm going to make it look rough and rocky for these. Awesome job. This is my volcano. I'll kind of turn it on its side. Great, and that's the inside and the top. I'll be able to put pencils and different things coming out of that. Thanks for watching.